Imai. Imai, or Imai Kagaku, was one of the old Japanese plastic model manufacturers. It started to produce plastic model kits in 1957 and ended in 2002. They started with a couple of model racing cars. The expansion into other kits started gradually with manga characters and eased into military subjects in the early 60s. Imai released some small-scale tank models in 1963, although I'm not certain of their scales, they appear to be approximately HO scale. They also released what they billed as a radio-controlled model tank in 1964. Like many Japanese companies, they made a foray into kaiju and monster models, but not very many. They were also one of the first companies to do models of the James Bond 007 movies. Up until this point, their main market appears to have been the domestic Japanese market. They did begin, however, expanding and advertising in the American market as well. By the mid-1960s, they were cross-marketing with Ertl in the USA and did some limited international product swaps with a few other companies in the United States and China. Eventually, they covered some of the standard military with a tilt towards World War II Japanese aircraft, as well as a limited number of airliners and civilian aircraft, but this was never really their main focus. They were far more oriented towards licensed television and movie properties, such as Thunderbirds or Go, UFO, and Space 1999. They even had a Superman car model and a Batmobile, although the Batmobile has been criticized by modelers for not being very accurate. They also did a limited run of slot cars, but only made nine dedicated slot cars, four of them in 132nd scale and five of them in 124th scale. Their models sometimes had a bit of a toy-like property to them, such as working parts, electric motors, and remote control. Some of the models were criticized for not really being true models, but more of toys that you would assemble. There is some crossover with Bandai that have not been able to pin down, but it appears to have been some sort of a reboxing or remarketing agreement. That criticism aside, they had one of the most complete lines of Jerry Anderson property kits and made much of this for the international market. This gave them a rather complex mix of real-world and fantasy kits. Their only real-world space kit that I could find was a model of the Gemini, which had some very impressive box artwork. They even eventually made a copy of the Monkey's car, but without the rights to use the monkey's name or images, they had to create their own version. They actually sold it as a Pontiac GTO to avoid legal trouble, and, well, the monkey's mobile was based on a Pontiac GTO. Although Mai made a lot of Japanese manga and anime models, they were really big into ship models, mostly sailing ships. But by far, they had more motorcycle kits than anything else. By my count, of the over 400 kits they made, over 140 were motorcycles. Many were Harley-Davidson's, which are extremely popular in Japan. They also had a limited line of semi-trucks and trailers. Their line of cars was pretty varied, with no real emphasis on any one type, at least not that I could discern. In 1980, Imai released 16 small size snap assemble plastic model kits. They were airplanes, warships, and military vehicles, including a 172nd scale Swedish S tank, the Stridsvagen 103, amongst them. This model was re released, sometimes with different packaging and kit number, many times. By this time, they had made some market penetration into the United States, but never seemed to catch on like other Japanese companies perhaps due to their emphasis on items that were more popular in Japan than in the West, but also a lack of brand recognition. Some modelers were not impressed with their kits, but others loved the subject matter. As always, it's in the eye of the beholder. They also did some buildings, animals, accessories, cartoon characters, and suits of armor, as well as other obscura. 
but they also eventually got heavily into Macross, and that became a large part of their line. A line that seemed to cover a lot of bases, but outside of TV properties, ships, and motorcycles, there was not any particularly focused or dominant genre. In 2002, they sold their assets to REI and Aoshima, but it appears that Bandai also has some of them, mostly the Macross, anime, and manga as far as I can tell. There was a small company of about seven people that continued to make products under the MIE name, but I have been unable to track down any kits made since 2018. As far as I can tell, they are no longer in production. Well, that's about all I have on Imai. Have you built any of their kits? What did you think? I'm Max. Thanks for watching. When the band was hot And now we're gonna give it one more shot We're getting old We must be crazy We're putting on the makeup again It covers up a bunch of wrinkled skin You bring the bread We'll make the gravy You keep on spending We'll keep on singing Would you like to see my liver spots? Can you drive us home if we get sleepy? If the shirts keep on selling, we'll keep on yelling. Rock and roll all night But then my body